Hey, beautiful people. I hope y'all are doing great today. I am giving today's beauty tip for your soul. And the reason why these beauty tips are so important is because the Holy Scripture says in 1 Samuel 16, 7, that the Lord does not see as man sees. Man sees the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at our heart. And so if he's looking at our heart, guess what? Our heart has to be cleaned up. And so we want to definitely adorn ourselves and be beautiful. All the things that make us beautiful on the outside is great. But God is going to look at our heart at the end of the day. When, we're, when it's time for us to be judged, he is going to look at our heart. So beauty tips for the soul is going to help us to identify, to break down and say, Lord, my soul is not right. Lord, my heart is not right. Help me to get this cleaned up. And so today's tip is going to be on the topic of gossip. And this is such a great topic because everybody, you know, is in that realm of gossip unknowingly and knowingly. And so the scripture that I'm using is Ephesians 4 29. And it says, let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification that it may impart grace to the hearer. And then it goes on to say, let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you. And be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, just as Christ gave, forgave you. And so these two scriptures are merged together for a reason. God knows that, you know, whenever we are, you know, in our offended times and, we, you know, we got, we got an offense and we got an unforgiveness in our heart, we want to go blabber. So he's saying, let no corrupt words proceed out of your mouth. Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth. And he's saying, let all bitterness, wrath, and anger be put away from you. That means do not, out of your bitterness, out of your hurt, speak evil, speak wicked of somebody. Don't do it. A lot of times when we are gossiping, it's because we have an offense with the person and we want someone else to jump on board and to feel the same way we feel or whatever. We want them to look at that person as something else. And so even though the things may be true, we are not to be going to people gossiping and slandering other people's name. Also, Matthew 12 says, every idle word that we speak, we will give an account for on the day, to, on the day of judgment. It says, by our words, we will be justified. By our words, we will be condemned. And so if my words are going to justify me, if my words are going to condemn me, I will be a lot more careful on what I let come out of my mouth. I'll be a lot more careful on what I'm speaking about on a daily basis. I want it to be edifying to the hearer, not something that's going to take them off track okay and so titus 3 2 is giving uh, paul is giving uh the church basically a command he's saying speak evil of no one be peaceable gentle showing humanity to all men we want to take this as our beauty tip for today be peaceful speak no one speak evil of no one and you will be blessed all right bye-bye